Welcome to Gray Overload, I'm Anthony, and I want to take a quick look at the Ruku Ultra. Now, as you might remember, if you've been watching the channel for a while, I did do an unboxing of this, or a quick look. But this is of the old model, I purchased it last year, and I believe the model on that was the 4800 RW. So, they've kind of changed the box a little bit, if you want to compare those two. But, this is the new one that they just updated to with the newer remote, and it is the 4802. I believe it's pretty close to the same Ultra, and uh, I'll do a review of this, walking through it once I use it. The reason why I picked it up, make it a little bit easier on my wife and stuff when I'm not here, when they want to watch movies, and the Xbox is just a little bit more clumbersome, and sometimes uh, Plex and things don't always work, so... I picked this up and they ran on sale and it was good. So what's in the box? They say, um, you know, you get the stream player, the pro remote. So this is the voice pro remote, uh, USB charging cable. So remote is uh, USB charging now, or it's charged by USB. Uh, headphones for private listening, private adapter, and a high speed HDMI cable. Now there's, you know, not much on the box. Other than, you know, it's got Wi-Fi, Ethernet, uh, there it is, focusing. All those sorts of things, you know, you can see the model number there. And you can see everything that you'll need. Broadband internet, etc. And uh, a couple downsides to this thing is that it's still running AC wireless. And... That's a disappointment. I like to see them on AX or Wi-Fi 6. It also only has a 10-100 Ethernet port. And it's only HDMI 2.0 B, I believe. It's 2.0, and I believe it's the B. Uh, but they have a nice little foam in there for packing. So this is what it looks like on there. So... Yeah, it's got a quad-core processor, AC, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth on it, and Dolby Atmos, and Dolby Vision. It has Dolby Vision, HDR10, slash 10 plus, HDR, 4K, 1080p, 720p, up to 60 frames per second. So, you got the Roku, and it has, you know, their little tag on the side. So yeah, nice little device. I, I, I do like how small and compact they are. It has, you know, where you can add your remotes. You press that to add your remote. You know, it's got the front for the IR. I guess I can take that off. Then it has the little tag. And then on the back side, you can see power, HDMI, USB, and Ethernet. So the USB is if you want to plug, uh, I wonder if it charges, probably does charge the um, remote if you plug the USB in there, but I also have played uh, USB devices for my media files. So then on the bottom, you have the model number, if it focuses there, and then the reset button right here, if you ever need to reset that. So there it is, I'm just covering up the serial number. Yeah, that's basically it there. And then the next item you have, is let's get streaming and inside this little envelope is the Roku Ultra quick instructions stickers which the kids love and then uh, important information safety stuff you know the usual the usual suspects on this and then you get into all the accessories so we have the Pro remote here, and the Pro remote is, let's take all that off, so you have an on off switch, it looks like for talking, that is a nice feature, I do like that, it has the headphone jack there, then on the bottom you see it has your USB, which, you know, it'd be nice if it was USB-C. <laughs> it, 
So the Pro Remote does not come with USB-C, but uh, yeah, it does have a button back here. I think, oh, that's for pairing. So you press that button, it'll start blinking at you. Huh. Then you have your volume buttons, which I am in the process of getting a new TV, so we'll see if these all work with it. Hopefully, well, I guess I might not because it has to work with my receiver and that's old. <laughs> so, and then you have the remote itself. It's, you know, the upper part is a normal looking Roku remote. And then you have your one and two buttons, which you can program. And then you have your Netflix, Disney Plus, uh, Apple TV, and Paramount Plus. I don't remember what they were on the old remote. I'd have to go and check um, or ask my parents what they were for the old remote that came with the Ultra, but I know it wasn't the same. So, yeah, little updated remote. We'll see how it works over time. So now let's look at what else is in here. You have the USB charging cable, HDMI, power, and then you have boxes empty. And then you're just going to have the uh, headphones. So, not something I'm probably going to use as the headphones, but they're there. And that is it. I, you know, like I said, I wish that they had come with gigabit, upgraded, uh, <laughs> upgraded wireless, upgraded HDMI 2.1. I think that would be a good addition to this. It seems like all they did was, you know, update, maybe do some refinements to this, and then uh, put in the Pro Remote. So I will, uh, I'll play around with this once we get it, and hopefully in about a month or so, you know, guys, I'll have a review on this. Let me know if you have any questions or anything you want me to look at for the Roku Ultra. I do have the stream bar upstairs, and that seems to work pretty well. So we'll see how this works. With that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking the time to help support Gray Overload and helping this channel grow. I really appreciate it. Until next time, God bless. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.